This is Tower of Frost on normal and hard. of storm reaches hot and sultry, snow drifts down from the top of the wizard's tower. A voice booms from the magic mouth. Welcome to Theobald's home. Your actions are being monitored for security purposes. And so you want to go to the right here. And for your own safety, take, please talk keep to your the orc. hands to yourself. So we're going to make a left here, go in the freezer. And then we have to kill any methods. you step into the kitchen's freezer. The soft flapping of wings hints at how Theobald keeps it so cold. So we need to sort of unlight this rune, but we can't do it while it's frozen. So getting rid of these methods will uh, unfreeze it. And just look around the room for any methody looking thing like this. The temperature rises with the methods gone. It's still chilly, but some of the ice cracks and shatters. You've disabled one of the magic wards, protecting the eye of Rizia. And this level is called the Servant Quarters. Gruff voices can be heard coming from the, go to the center. central room, while deep snores issue from the center. A brightly colored ticket sits on the table in Grab the center the ticket. of the room. You found a claim ticket, and then pull this which lever. says it can be redeemed at some kind of storage area. Metal grinds against metal somewhere nearby. And this is the storage area. And you'll have to fight pretty much everything on this floor, I think. A large magic mount is mounted above a sealed door. And do the claim ticket. The door is and then we can grab this lamp. And a shiny brass lamp slides out of the chute. And this is the garden. So we just kind of go north, killing the wall and any satyrs that uh, get in our path. When you hear that kind of laugh, that's satyrs. and branches of a nearby bush suddenly twist into motion. You've 
disabled. All right. All right, now we're going to the Illusorium. The Immaterial Guards bow as you pass. Welcome to the Illusionarium they cry all right so the goal here is to get all of these three things to yellow the solution is on the wiki and the yellow are basically the um, the three that I am highlighting right those are the three that come into play on this one it's all three of them and the yellow one lights up on the second one It's these, this, these two, the, nor, the north top one and then the center one. So I'm gonna pull that and I'll pull this. And you can see the second one then comes yellow. And then for the third one, I always just do yellow. Uh, you could do whatever color you prefer. It's gonna be these from nine o'clock to 12 o'clock on the clock. And it's yellow. So once that's done, yellow is the first story. So you just go here and pick the first one. Your story and the way opens. Exclaims the magic. I don't know. I actually don't know. Uh, I didn't run this until the answer was already on the wiki. So I'm not sure how to solve it without the wiki. I never, tr I never, never had to. So I'm sure there's a way to figure it out, and it might be something that would be fun to explore at some point for you to figure out figure that out unfortunately i do not know the answer to that all right we have to go to the other side at the center of this large chamber is an altar surrounded by <laughs> And we have this to get rid of this. By a magic whirlwind that you back you back. And you don't want to grab everything this quest. Some of the things just create more fights, optionals, and things like that. So, um, but here, you know, you definitely definitely want to uh, go to the summoning circle and say, place the shiny lamp on the, the altar. Appears before you and talk to the genie, and then tell him. His wish, tell him to get rid of the whirlwind, which is over there. All right, he gets rid of it. You've disabled one of the magic wards. And now we can just go, go up here to the next level, which is the library. And there's some living spells here. Those are um, I, the first place that I've I encountered them was the subterrain underground or subterrain. So like, sir, you see a vial of dune blood. I'm going to leave all that alone. Um, those things, those things are optional type things, and I'm just avoiding them. I'm going to do the minimum. These, you can see the kind of damage that that's doing. I don't know if that's a magic missile. Let me put my shield cookie on and see if that's a magic missile. The living spells are pretty tough, and on high difficulties, that is a very tough. Um, I can't remember if it does magic missiles or not, but on higher, I'm going to have it on when I come in here, anyways. So, I'll leave all this. Waves of heat ripple from the salamanders. Fight these guys. Disabled one of the magic wards protecting the eye of Rizia. All the magic wards protecting the eye of Rizia on the ground floor are now disabled. All right. 
All right, and next is the security level, which is probably the most confusing of all of them. But basically, there's this way here with the, you know, there's a shr shrine among other things. And so you just sort of go through, go here in the, to these teleporting, Homes with teleporting stones, and just clear the area, pull the lever. And uh, I sometimes end up going over places I've already been because it's a little, it's, it's, uh, it's not really a maze. I mean, it's pretty linear in the sense that, you know, there's only, there's a very small number of doors you have to actually open. But I find myself often. All right, so this is there. Let's just go back to this one now. I I just do this. I don't think I necessarily have it be for this part. I don't think I have it optimized in the sense that there might be a little better way to do it. But I think it's this way works fine. If it's if there is a better way, it's not that much better. Let me see if I what this trap is. Oh yeah, these things are annoying. Pressure plates. And these kind of sm smoking looking piles of snow are actually elementals. And I'm gonna go here. Lots of these traps apparently. All right, so this is technically optional, but I'm going to call it mandatory because I don't know why you would ever want to do anything but that. And I think there's something here that it was activated. I guess not. I thought that was activated and was going to come after us. So now you want to go back to this, use, uh, solve this puzzle. But first you want to like turn all these away from, you know, the red skull thing is like a trap, right? So you want to turning them away from here and then well let's uh, this is the only way it could be and then this one now powered by magical energy and then the go elevator back to the ground to floor this elevator is clearly the work of House Caneth Artificers. Theobald has spared no expense in equipping this tower. Hmm, I think I want to go back. Let's see. No, this is it. So we need to find the eye. Behold Theobald's newest acquisition. All discovered right. during his recent expedition to the Everice, the Eye of Rizia dates back to the time of the Giants. Grab it. While the Eye is clearly related to the Plane of Ice, its exact abilities are currently unknown. Please do not touch. The Eye of Rizia is bitter cold in your hands. Now to close the portal to Rizia before And then the you want to go back to the security fingers. level. And so now we just need to kind of go, we have the eye, so we basically just want to go out the door. Well, that's interesting. Did I miss, uh, did I miss one? Apparently I missed, there we go. Just got to get this lever and we should be good to go. Multiple doors clang open nearby. And so we want to go this way, the one, the way we haven't gone yet. And... This takes us to the inner sanctum. You've reached the top floor of Theobald's tower. The sound of howling winds can be heard. And here's this 
You found Theobald, but the wizard is entombed in ice, standing before a hollow. Alright, so we portal click on this portal. Perhaps the manuscript at his feet describes how this happened. Put the eye in there. Note suggests that and the it takes you an invite. By throwing the eye of Rizia into it. There's a crash of ice and a Some visitors who play ice are not left should be nothing to stop Theobald from paying his overdue rent. All right, I'm going to recall out, go right back in and hard. Nothing super interesting. I'm just going to grab something and then go back in and hard. Though the weather in the rest of Storm Reach is hot and sultry, snow drifts down from the top of the wizard's tower. A voice booms from the magic mouth. Welcome to Theobald's home. Your actions are being monitored for security purposes. Enjoy your stay, and for your own safety, please keep your hands to yourself. to the kitchen. The temperature drops even further as you step yeah, look into for the, the method looking things. We the have soft to flapping of wings hints at how Theobald keeps it so cold. And once the methods are gone, the place warms up and we'll be able to deactivate the rune. The temperature rises with the methods gone. It's still chilly, but some of the ice cracks and shatters. You've disabled one of the magic wards, protecting the eye of Rizzi. And servant's quarter, we go into this middle room. Heard coming from the large central room. Take our claim ticket and you found a claim pull ticket, the lever, which says it can be redeemed at some kind of storage area. 
Metal grinds against metal somewhere nearby. All right, I went out the wrong room, but here it is. A large magic mount is mounted on the sealed door. The door and we give them the claim, give the claim ticket, and take the lamp. The shiny lamp. And there's some things to the left that I usually try to avoid, so I'll get usually gather them up here. And then you don't have to fight the oozes that are sort of piles of coins. And all we have to do is pull this lever. Whoop, after we kill these animated armors, or swords and shields. And then we could go to the next level. Which is the garden. And then since we forgot our hedge clippers, we use our sword on these hedges. I don't, I, I don't go out of my way to clear this area, but if something, uh, if something attacks me, I, you know, I get rid of it, but I don't attack everything in this area. The leaves and branches of a nearby bush disabled one of the magic wards, protecting the eye of Rizzi. And then I just kind of go one row down and work my way to the end. Next is the illusioner, loser, illusion, illusionarium. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Let's see how Cord Cordovan pronounces it. The immaterial guard. Illusionarium. Okay. So again, uh, answers on the wiki, but it's just this lever, this lever, and this lever for yellow. We're going to do yellow. You could do three different solutions. I just like to do yellow. And then on the second one, yellow is this lever and this lever. Let the lights up yellow. And on this one, it's basically nine, nine to twelve o'clock on the sort of clock, if you will. And then that one's lit. And then we just go over to the magic mouth and we say story one, whatever the first one is. Your and we're story done. was delightful, exclaims the magic mouth. And in this, and there, uh, no penalty for using the cliff notes in this uh, quest to write our story.
All right, so just go around the back. At the center of this large chamber is an altar surrounded by a chain of chains. This ward is protected by a and say, place a shiny a lamp. Genie appears before you in a gust Talk to of the Jenny and ask him to take care of the whirlwind for us. I can think of some better uses of that wish, but that's that's what we're gonna do here. You've disabled one of the magic wards, protecting the eye of Rizia. And then we just go to the next level. After we get these uh, dredges, which is the library level. And so I'm gonna put my shield clicky on here. Uh, I'm not gonna put any resists on. I'm just gonna kind of see how it is with just the shield clicky. I wanna make sure I'm prepared for Elite and then Reaper when we get there. So. So my evasion works pretty good against that. Here we go. And I saw the shield thing go off, so it looks like they do do magic missiles. And while you can see how much damage while took on hard. Here's the champ, lightning. So on, on, you know, when I get to a lead, I like to kind of see these sort of things. Skip this. Demon blood, that's an optional. We don't want to worry about that. Waves of heat ripple from the salamanders. I like to run without the resists on hard. Um, just to get an idea of the type of damage that, that they're doing on hard, because I figure if it's uh, if we're feeling it on hard, it's going to be really bad on Elite or Reaper. And so, you know, the damage there was pretty rough on hard for Wyo, not for me, but for Wyo. And, it, you know, even on normal, it was quite a bit of damage at Magic Missile, so I definitely want to make sure I have my shield on for this part. Alright, so this is the security level. And so just kind of follow these teleporters. A teleporter hums with magical energy as it activates. Whenever you see one of these levers, use it before you use the teleporter. So we're, we use that, now we're going to use the teleporter. And so, you know, we'll, we'll obviously use cold. You can see Wyo took a fair amount of damage, uh, cold damage there. So that's going to be pretty rough on, see any levers? Nope. We're by the shrine though. That's good news. Oh, here's a lever. So we want to make sure we use, pull the levers before we uh, use the teleporters, if there are any. Traps. Yeah, these are kind of funny. You could actually jump over them. You know, you would think, oh, if I jump over them, it's not going to actually activate the trap. But even jumping over it 
will activate the trap. So uh, you probably could jump over without much problem, without you know. But all right, let's get these guys. Let's see what this trap is. No, oh, what a wolf. Last time they didn't activate over there, but there's more of them now, so it sort of makes sense. All right, it's on the other side. So now, first, we're going to move everything away from the trap square and then solve it. And I'm a big uh, solve it backwards person. Now powered by magical energy, the elevator is ready to use. And we'll go to the ground floor. This elevator is clearly the work of House Caneth Artificers. Theobald has spared no expense in equipping this tower. Behold Theobald's newest acquisition. Discovered during his recent expedition to the Eye, the, the Eye of Rizia dates back to the time of the Giants. While the Eye is clearly related to the Plane of Ice, its exact abilities are currently unknown. Please do not go. And back to the security level. The Eye of Rizia is bitter cold in your hands. Now to close the portal to Rizia before the Eye freezes your fingers off. Just avoiding those pressure Multiple plates. Doors playing open nearby. And we want to go to the place we haven't been. We came from there, and that this place with the stairs and the 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 rune or the not the rune, the crystal is where we want to go. And this is the inner sanctum, and this is the you end of the, the quest. Once we finish our. I'm actually, I went the other way last time, but it's no different this way. Well, it could be there's a few more on this side, I don't know. Throw the eye into the portal, and then we have our end fight. Theobald's note suggests that the portal can be closed. should be nothing to stop Theobald from paying its overdue rent. 